women's flyweight division matchup. Drillers make killers, and nobody works her takedowns harder than this young woman. She has become a force in this division, and even though the opposition oftentimes knows what's coming, no one's able to stop that shot. Nobody's able to stop that takedown attempt. No one's able to stop that single leg. She said in the fighter meetings, I have drilled that takedown 5,000 times. Amazing. Over and over, I hit a single leg. Every day of the week, I hit at least 30 single legs. I'm like, well, is wrestling practice every day? She goes, no. I just want to make sure that I have a skill that is so dominant that no matter how much you practice it, you are not practicing it enough to stop me from taking you down with it. It is truly crazy to watch her approach to getting that single leg off. And her ability to get her opponents off balance in a mixed martial arts setting, as special as anybody in the sport right now, we'll see how it goes for her here tonight. Well, for my money, she is as accomplished a striker as any woman in the game at present. Tonight, though, she's got to focus on keeping this fight upright. She has to stay on her feet. If she is taken down early, it will be a long night for her. She has to manage the space. She has to sprawl and brawl, and she has to fight with that ferocity that she is known for. It's the aggressive attitude, the aggressive approach that she takes that makes her one of the more exciting fighters in the UFC. And she told us in our fighter meeting on Thursday, she doesn't necessarily want to fight on a napkin in the center of the octagon, right? She wants to control distance, manage range effectively. She has certainly done that every step of the way thus far in her UFC career. All right, just about ready for live action. Here is tonight's tale of the tape. Well, how about the age discrepancy here? More than 15 years apart with similar height and reach. To get us started Ladies with the official introductions, we go inside to the veteran the voice of the Octagon. Here's Bruce Buffer. The evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada! It's time! Our round in the UFC flyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 21 wins, 11 losses. She stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of San Jose, California, Alexis Davis! And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a kickboxer, making her professional debut here tonight. She stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 118 pounds. Fighting out of Milan, Italy, the Apex! All right, grip the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. to test herself against one of the best strikers in this division, but that would not have been the path of least resistance. She believes that her full mixed martial arts game is what's going to allow her to win this fight. It's a close fight, though, because she's never seen anyone with the striking ability of her opponent.
She blocked the punch. And there's no tell on that leg kick. this exact position. Who is going to take advantage of it? We need that take down. Ooh. Effective strike there by Davis. Oh, she left that and lands the diving punch to the head. Oh, nice job by her to posture up there. Now we'll see if she can maintain that separation. She has to recognize that her opponent will start trying to squirrel away now, but look for her big ground and Oh, that's a beautiful escape and reversal by her there. Unbelievable sweep. She did a fantastic job of manipulating the weight to change the position. The horn sounds for the end of round one. So a lot of strike absorption by her. Okay, you ready? Round two. Ready? Let's round go two ahead. underway. Nice punch there by Alexis Davis. some significant body work here, and these are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, that's a hell of a kick by her there. We'll see if she can follow it up now, champ. Great job landing that kick. Well, she nearly got her out of there with the knockdown in the previous round, and her confidence remains high here, and she's building on that momentum. She's building. Oh, huge right hand! Can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. Right hand, but she misses. Just over three minutes to go in round two. Look at the turtle in that kick. Well, there's no denying her power. She has been pretty accurate here tonight, but she's the type of fighter when she goes to the drive through window. She's just getting a sandwich. She's oh, not getting the combo meal. That's embarrassing. <laughs> that's embarrassing. You're going to go and order a sandwich. That allows your opponent to stay in the fight. Give him the entire combo. Buy the french fries. Buy the drink. Really put it on her. Go get her. Extend that combination. Be confident. Go and try to find something that's going to end this fight. And there comes the separation now. Swing and a big miss by Dave. up again here, but hurt. Davis is gone. Oh, nice guillotine there. Oh, man, that was slick. Davis's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. 
man, she is just non-stop on the ground, moving in all the right directions. Another nice transition by her there. She's moving a lot, but every movement has purpose. All right, she's got the full mount here, DC. It's hard for me to remember a time in which you were fully mounted in the UFC. I have never been full mounted. I hope to never be full mounted. And this young lady now finds herself in this position. In this position, what's very key is that she cannot panic. She's got to go and attack the hip, create some space, trip off to the side, re-slide in that half guard so that then now she's a little bit safer once she's through. Outstanding attempt with the kick there. Now we'll see if she can follow it up. So fast to the target. What a great job. Oh, she continues to work the body here to great effect. That's a big strike right there. Stuffs the takedown shot there. How good is her takedown deal? So again, they will clinch here. for her now, and you know how heavy she stays with all of that upper body strength. We'll see what she can do from here. Well, she's got great upper body strength, and that's why she passes, because she doesn't necessarily feel she needs the legs to control her opponents on the ground. So she goes to side control and hopes that you give your back. That's right. why you see she has so many rear naked choke submissions. I would never give you my back. Don't give me back. Great movement by her here on the ground, and she just does it so fluidly and so easily. It, it's really a sight to behold. You can tell that she's been a lifetime developing the skill with the way that she's able to move with so little effort on the mat. When you get in that spot on Davis has got the head. Let's see if she can finish off this guillotine attempt. Nicely done. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Davis. Oh, that right hand is on point. Oh, her ground and pound is on point here. She's made this a focus going in to make these strikes count. Certainly doing that time. She's making each and every one of them count. Doing a very, very good job of landing shots, landing them in combination, and making them all matter. Well, her opponent is squirming, and this might be the beginning of the end. The ground and pound strikes continue to land at will. She's landing it over and over again. She needs to make sure that when she's chasing the finish, she doesn't get excited and lose the position. All right, so her ground control is outstanding. Half guard is when she's at her most dangerous. Yes, yeah, she's at her most dangerous when she has a half guard because she's so brutal with the ground and pound. She likes to go after fighters and really wear on him. Ready? Ready? Let's go fight. Oh, she landed another strike to the body there. Very smart to work that body late in the fight when her opponent is fatigued. You didn't see a lot of that from her earlier in the fight. She is certainly getting after it now. Big kick. And a nice job, at least staying oh, She did not miss there. This could be the end, DC. I mean, she hurt her so bad with that big head kick. I don't know how she's standing. Again, they will clinch. We'll see how it goes. Oh, huge elbow! You can never know what you're going to see with this young lady. Is she going to finish the fight? Huge 
knee to the body. That'll soften her up. Throws a big... to the head. Foster. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Foster. Pretty impressive ground and pound display here, champ. She's doing a great job of finding the right time to take her ground and pound opportunities. Well, you gotta try to stay busy off of your back. She's doing it here, nice punch. All right, into full guard here, DC. Where does she go from here? She needs to be passing, right away passing. Trying to pass to get good ground and pound. Well, that's a nice job by her there to reverse the position on the ground. She was in trouble, now she is the one. Oh! She got her. She is such... Oh! She can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to just chase the finish. Back to the feet! That was just a near perfect strike to end the fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure her opponent saw it coming. And this is exactly the way she drew it up. She said, I need to win this fight, but I need to do it by stoppage. I can't leave it in the judges' hands. If I'm gonna take my career to the next level, I've gotta get the knock. All right, let's go inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Lugley out has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 26 seconds of round number four. The winner, well, there she is, and you can be sure there's going to be a long line at the after party tonight after what she was able to accomplish tonight. I mean, she will be as popular tonight as she's ever been because no one forgets a knockout like this. It'll be on TV. It'll be on 